This is a fan-generated show. If you would like to support us, please go to jamieglazov.com and also don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel. All your support is greatly appreciated. Jihadi Psychopath by Dr. Jamie Glazov. I will tell you as an expert on Sharia, as a former child bride who has suffered and faced my own jihadi psychopath, I want you to go and order this book on Amazon.com or go to jamieglazov.com. Get a copy for yourself. You know why? Because you need to be equipped with the knowledge to fight our enemy so you can save your daughters and your granddaughters from future of Islam. Good evening. Welcome to the Jamie Glazov moment. Tonight, Linda Sarsour attacks white feminist Nancy Pelosi. That's right, according to Linda Sarsour, ladies and gentlemen, Nancy Pelosi is a white feminist. I wanted to spend a little bit of time on that this evening because I'm not sure if you remember or if you know, but Linda Sarsour changed her race after putting on the hijab. Oh, that's right. So what is this about here? Uh, a lot of very strange things happening all at once. So the Women's March co-chair Linda Sarsour now has uh, recently attacked white feminist Nancy Pelosi. And why did she do that? Well, it's over the resolution condemning anti-Semitism. And so now the, you know, especially the Democrats are, you know, trying to, you know, condemn anti-Semitism because they're just so surprised that Ilhan Omar is making anti-Semitic statements. I mean, why would somebody wearing a hijab that's committed to Islamic law make anti-Semitic statements? I mean, this is just such a surprise to everybody. And also such a surprise now that Linda Sarsour is defending Ilhan Omar and her anti-Semitic statements. So Nancy Pelosi is part of this effort to come up with this resolution condemning anti-Semitism where they're kind of, you know, not really targeting Ilhan Omar, but just trying to make this general statement, it appears, that's going on. The whole thing is just uh, ridiculous. I don't mean that, obviously, something should be done against Ilhan Omar's anti-Semitism, her Jew hatred, and, and just all the vile things that she's saying, but just how the Democrats uh, are behaving on this and pretending somewhere that they're upset about this all. Uh, when in fact anti-Semitism is so rampant and has been so rampant in the Democratic Party. But now Linda Sarsour has come to the defense of Ilhan Omar and has attacked, as I said, Speaker of the House Pelosi. And she's quoted as saying that Pelosi is a, quote, typical white feminist upholding the patriarchy, doing the dirty work of powerful white men. So that would take another hour to discuss, but what's going on here really is that Linda Sarsour is defending, as I said, Ilhan Omar's anti-Semitism. And Sar Sarsour also went on to accuse Democratic leaders of responding more quickly to anti-Semitism than to anti-Muslim rhetoric. And she's claiming that this resolution that's going to condemn anti-Semitism will only help the Republicans. You know, there's so much material here, my friends, that just in a couple minutes, what can really be said? Uh, just very quickly, I want to say here that when somebody like Linda Sarsour talks about anti-Semitism and anti-Muslim rhetoric, these are very, very two different things, and they're blurring things together. She's blurring things together here, and the left is always doing this. When somebody is making anti-Semitic statements, it is a hatred of Jewish people. Now, the anti-Muslim rhetoric, whoever they're trying to label this with or on, on the people that might be engaged, they're labeling them as anti-Muslim rhetoric, what's usually being done is that people are articulating a concern about jihad and sharia. This has nothing to do with discrimination against Muslim people or a hatred of Muslim people. So what's usually happening is that people are stating the truth about jihad and sharia in terms of ideology. So th this whole thing doesn't add up and, uh, and it's, it's, it's the unholy alliance's propaganda. So what I wanna say tonight is that all of this is no surprise. First off, Ilhan Omar 
is Sharia committed. She is supposed to hate Jews in Israel because that is what Sharia law is about on many of its realms. That's what the Islamic law is connected to and stands for. You only have to start reading the Quran and the Hadith to get the picture of this. Okay, and so Linda Sarsour is also a believing, Sharia adhering Muslim. She is a devout believer in Islam. So the Quran demonizes Jewish people in numerous ways. If you read the Quran, if you read the Hadith, you read Islamic theology, it is very clear that Jewish people in Islamic theology are under Allah's curse and that Muslims should wage war on Jewish people and kill Jewish people. You know, you just read the genocidal Hadith, Sahih Muslim 6985, and there's the command to kill Jewish people. So there's not supposed to be any surprise here. We know where devout Muslims are supposed to stand and you can blindfold yourself as much as you want and as long as you want. Unfortunately, this threat is not going to go away and the truth is not going to go away. I wanted to add something else very, this is all evil and absurd all at the same time in terms of all these lies, in terms of everything that's happening here. But this whole thing about Linda Sarsour calling Pelosi a white feminist. You know, the question is, Linda Sarsour, what color are you? But we know, you know, just look this up. Look at how, just Google Linda Sarsour turning from white to black after wearing the hijab. Just Google the Glazov gang or Robert Spencer. He's documented this. But this is really, really fascinating because Linda Sarsour went from white to black because she started wearing the hijab. This is according to her. There's a video before she wore the hijab. Um, no, excuse me. There's a video of her discussing that before she wore a hijab, she, you know, she said that she was just a white girl in New York before she was wearing the hijab. And then in a later interview, after she start wearing the hijab, she's referring to herself as a person of color. So it's very clear that Linda Sarsour has gone from white to black after wearing the hijab. Sinead O'Connor, for instance, is no longer white either after her Islamic conversion. You can look that up as well. Just put Sinead O'Connor no longer white after Islamic conversion. Look up Robert Spencer. Google that with Robert Spencer's name or with the Glazov gang. And uh, this is really interesting stuff. It's absurd stuff. It's bizarre stuff. And also very, very evil propaganda. I'd like to end tonight with asking Linda Sarsour a question. If Nancy Pelosi turned Muslim, could you call her a white feminist anymore? We'll see you soon on the next Jamie Glasoff moment. Good night.